Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, in the previous lecture, I have discussed about the structure and uh, the parts of the rod cells and the cone cells. As I had told you that rods and cone cells are present in the retina of our eye. And uh, the next lecture, I will inshallah discuss about uh, the whole structure and the whole layers of the cells of retina in detail. Now here, I have a table in which I have shown some differences between rods and cone cells. So one thing more which I want to tell you that if you haven't watched this lecture, I will give the link of that video in the description. First, you just watch the lecture regarding the structure and parts of the rods and cones. Then come here and watch this lecture to have a clear concept of the differences between rods and cone cells, right? So let us discuss here these differences between rods and cones. First difference between the rod cells and the cone cells is that uh, and the difference in the number of the rods and cones. Listen carefully. In our eye, right? In our eye, we have 6 million cone cells. But there are 12 million rod cells. In our eye right so you can see the difference between rods and cones I'm talking about one eye so in both eyes we will have 12 million uh, cone cells and 24 million rod cells right then the difference in between the length of the rods and cones here is the length of the cone cells is from 35 to 40 micrometer which is very small and the, and the length of the rod cells is, uh, you can see, four, 40 to 60 micrometer. As I have them here, and uh, I will show you that uh, I have uh, taken the example here. You can see the rod cells are a little uh, larger than the cone cells. You can see the difference here. Look, rod cells I have shown a little larger. So. And the length of the rod cells are a little larger than the cone cells. Next, the diameter of the cone cells is 5 micrometer and the diameter of rod cells is 2 micrometer. It means that diameter means like this. So the diameter of rod cells, so it means that rod cells are a little, uh, I mean, uh, sorry, cone cells are a little broader than the rod cells, right? Then there is the difference between in the, sh the shape. The shape of cone cells is flask shape and the shape of rod cells is cylindrical shape. It means that rod cells are like this. They are cylindrical in shape. But in case of cone cells, we have flask shape. It means like this. Right? So this is the shape of the cone cell. The next difference between the rods and cones is that the difference in the outer segment. Look carefully. The outer segment of cone cells is small. Here you can say outer segment is long. But here the outer segment is conical in shape. But the outer segment of rod cells is slender in shape. Right? This was the next difference. The next difference is in the sensitivity. It means that who is more sensitive to light? Whenever light falls on the rods and cones, who is generated fastly? Who is activated fastly? Who generates fast currents? Right? So look here. The cone cells are more sensitive to bright light, but the rod cells are more sensitive to dim light. Right? Whenever there is brighter light, our cones are more active. But whenever there is dark light, there is dim light, our cone cells are less active, but rod cells are more active. Right? Then there is the difference between the threshold. What is meant by threshold? Who is activated faster and who generates current faster? It means the threshold. So look here, I have written that the cone cells have high threshold and the light rod cells have low threshold frequency. Right. Then the difference between the types of vision. Look carefully. Cone cells response to bright light. That is called photophic vision. And the rod cells response to dim light. 
that is called scoptic vision right so scoptic vision is the vision in which we can see objects in dim light right look uh, i will give you an example i'm standing here in this room and i have lights and i can see in front of this light i can see all the colors this is black this is blue this is green and this is red right so i'm looking at these markers now i am um, now my cones are more active right but whenever light is shut off right what will happen i will see the shapes of these markers but i will not differentiate between the colors why because in that condition my rods are active but my cones are not active so it means that in brighter light you can see the colors right but in darker light you cannot see the colors but you can rather see the images you can see the shapes of the objects but you will not differentiate between the colors so it means that our cones are active in bright light and will show the colors that is called photophic vision and our rods are active in dim light and that is called scoptic vision right then there is the difference in the equity of vision right who is responsible for equity of the vision equity of the vision means that you are looking at an object and you are you can see it clearly right whenever you can see an object clearly that is called the equity of vision so rods are responsible for equity of the vision and cones are not responsible for the equity of vision cones will just differentiate between or i will say that cones are just active whenever there is dim light it will just show you the objects dimly right then the difference in the color of the vision right who is responsible to show you the difference in the colors cones are responsible as i told you cones will show you the colors but rods are not responsible to show you the colors right then the difference in the pigments look carefully the pigments which are present in the cone cells are iodopsin or we just call them uh, poor fire for pyropsin or we call them cyanopsin right but here the pigment which is present inside the rod cells that is rhodopsin right so we say there is one type of pigment present in the rod cells that is rhodopsin but in case of cones there are three types of pigments present and here i have shown the 12th difference that is the types of pigments here in cone cells there are three types of pigments and in case of rod cells there is one type of pigment so these are the 12th differences between rods and cones and i hope you like the lecture and now in the onward lecture i will discuss the layers of the cells which are present in the retina and then we will discuss uh, the 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 types of the cells which are present in the retina so see you guys in the next lecture till then allah hafiz